Hey, what's going on? Strat Soldier here with the Weekend Shift. Thank you so much for being here. It's a brand new year, 2022. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not 2020 part two. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, I am so glad everybody's here. Thank you so much for being here, here on Sip Your Group. How many people in the chat? Shoot it to me. How many people? How many people we got? I'm sure everybody's still, you know, waking up. And it's, it's, it's right after the holidays. You know, very first week back to work, um, man. Uh, and then the first back week, uh, back to week trading too. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of good things moving around, and and it ain't tech. <laughs> I can tell you that much. We're gonna go through the charts. We're gonna. This is this is me, the Strat Soldier. You've never seen this show before. Uh, we're gonna talk about the basics of the Strat, and um, you know, show us, show you guys what we do and how you get can get in on what we do, and then also, um, you know show you what you know rob smith the creator of the strat has showed everybody else how to do and then you know talk about michael dang and then you know you got me here again strat soldier with the weekend shift uh hello everyone out there okay we got a handful of people out there thank you so much sunshine we got sunshine out here from the uk we got swiss man from switzerland we got um oh man Luzmar, and we got rob c heck yeah and the old salt trader heck yeah seven minute cycles check out his uh his stuff on twitter it's crazy man the strat works on every time frame and he proves it because he's trading seven second cycles whatever man <laughs> do it do it if it's going to help you create winning positions add to them and defend them with tight stops do it man and he's definitely doing it it's amazing uh how's things been going everybody how you been how you been type it in the chat where are you at sunshine how you been i seen you out there there was some really good trades out there uh people getting in on energy we told you about energy did you watch the macro vid we're gonna go through some of that i'm not gonna spoil all of it because we're gonna hopefully we can have rob on here next week fingers crossed fingers crossed rob's been out uh and we had jj on the mic we i call him uncle jj uncle jj trying to get you to <laughs> trying to get you to buy these weed stocks man one of these days, Tilray will will trade uh, in a decent friend up. One of these days, hopefully, JJ, hopefully, and uh, man, and then JJ's been uh, been on the mic here at Sipia Group, and he's um, he's he's doing really good. He's you know he's he's calling out what's going on in the markets. People are getting in there and trading some good stuff. Jenny from the block, G E N I, Jenny, and uh, some really good things and. Um, excuse me he um and it, it, when you're on there with jj he's good he's he was uh really good friends he is still really good friends with rob for a long time and he's funny jj is hilarious and he'll get on there and if you just listen just listen jj will start giving some good advice if you want 30 years of experience you gotta have 30 years okay you can't you know what I mean? You can't you can't make that up. You can't, you know, read a bunch of books and then, you know, regurgitate it up all the time. You know what I mean? JJ, 30 years experience working with Rob on the CBOE floor. Uh, good guys, real good guys. And uh, when JJ starts teaching, it's it's good stuff. Uh, he's got that smooth voice, man. He's like, yeah, man, you know, you got it. You got to be able to execute it, man. <laughs> and he's right. You can learn all this strat stuff but you got to be able to execute it. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let me show you my charts. This is how I trade. Um, I have all my charts up just like this. The monthly, the weekly, the daily, and the 60. This is how I have my charts up. I am paying for this is trading view. And I am paying for this. Uh, if you cannot uh, see your charts just like this, you might be able to create a setup like this. Um, I have TradeStation as well, and you're able to create windows and set up your own uh, workspace. And I set it up just like this, but I like TradingView better. Um, and then if you do not have, you can only look at one chart at a time. That stinks, but go through these sectors. Mond uh, go through the major time frames. The major time frames are, again, the monthly, the weekly, the daily, and the 60, okay? All right, and for the new people, for the new people, okay, red means they're selling, 
Greed means they're buying. I don't care what anybody says out there on Twitter. Uh, be careful with this buy the dick, buy the dip crap, okay? Um, we trade reversals, and we can show you how to get in on a reversal back up, all right? I don't want you buying a bunch of stuff uh, that's continuously going down. That's not a good idea, all right? We create winning positions, not hold losers, all right? Not jump in on losers. We don't take losers. Okay, okay, let me get, uh, I don't want to get too far into, heck yeah, JJ got me on DraftKings yesterday. Yes, DraftKings was a 2-2 up on the daily yesterday. I almost took it, and I was like, no, let's just wait. <laughs> but that would have been a good day trade yesterday, 2-2 up. Oracle, uh, bummer last week. Yep, Oracle was a bummer last week. Um, uh, hey, Bradley Wise on the treadmill, but watching. Heck yeah, hey, Bradley, I only got, uh, I only ran like nine miles this week. I, I know, it's not. It's not what it needs to be, but I got my miles in this week. Trying to get, uh, trying to get, trying to get twenty miles in a week. We'll see. Um, that's what I used to do all the time. Let me get, gotta get back up. Gotta get back up. So that's awesome. On the treadmill, watching the weekend shift. That's how you do it. Let's make that money. Heck yeah, that's very cool. All right. Um, so the week, the month, the daily, and the sixty. And the reason why I have all four charts up like this is so I can see time frame continuity. The third unit, the second universal truth in the strap. Time frame continuity is about the color, not necessarily the scenario. It's about the color. What do I see? What are you seeing here? Who is in control? Who is in control right now? All right. We're we're at this bar this week. This one. Okay. This month. This week. This day, and then you know, these days, and then yep, come on in the chat. Who's it like? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear you, wise. I hear you. Uh, who's it? Who is in, in control? And we might play a game this week. Uh, we might play a game this week, uh, the, on this one. It's called uh, Who is in Control? And we might start it right now. Who is in control? All right, Swiss man says sellers, Luz, Luzmar says bears, Sunshine says sellers. That's right. And you can see that easily because the, it's red, red. The sellers are more aggressive, okay? People start taking profits and then everybody, and then the sellers jump in and says, all right, we got this. And they take it over. That's right, Rob C. Full time frame continuity to the downside on the month, the week, the day, and the 60. It is going down. Now, uh, that's why I have all these charts up just like this. It, um, it gives me the highest probability without using indicators, okay, uh, without watching some squiggly line move around and guessing where it's going to go next. All right. All right. This is anytime I, anytime the day in the 60 are red, no, anytime the day in the 60 are the same color, whether it be red or green, uh, that shows the, the aggression on what they're doing today. All right. If it's green, they're buying it. If it's red, they're selling it. Okay. And then the weekly and the monthly, that just gives us more uh, information on what the institutional buyers are doing, all right? It gives us more information. That's right. That is right. Hey, Whiskey Ginger here. Hello, hello, hello. Very good. Very good, very good. Um, so that's what we do here. Uh, that's that's time frame continuity. And that's why I have all four charts up here. All right, now the scenarios. We believe there's only three ways anything can trade. Anything can trade is three scenarios. And I'm going to put on my uh, labels for the kids in the back. We believe there are only three ways anything can trade. And where's my guy at? I had a marker. I had a, something marked here so I can get right to it. But I can't see it anyway. There's three ways. There's only three ways anything to trade. Scenario one, a scenario one doesn't take out either side of the previous range. Okay. This, this kids is a scenario one. All right. Now, uh, you don't want to trade anything while it's forming in this. All right. Now, on the, on the week, on the week, the day or the 60, this is the price consolidating. Okay. Nobody knows what this thing costs. This is the price consolidating. Scenario one. Scenario two takes out both sides of the previous range. Or excuse me. Scenario two takes out one side of the previous range. Okay. Scenario two. This is a scenario two up. Two, two, up. Okay. And then a series of twos is a trend. Two, 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 two. Make sense? Twos are easy, right? Heck yeah. Uh, 
that we'll get to the questions here in a second. Uh, Salem, I see you. I see you. Um, three. And then a scenario three right here. Bam. Scenario three. Didn't have to go too far because the strat is repetitive. Scenario three takes out both sides of the previous range. You take this candle, you compare it to the one right next to it. Scenario three. That means they this right here means they bought it up and then they sold it down. This thing got People got messed up in here, okay? This thing got wrecked. A lot of long positions got, you had to cut this thing, take profits on what you got. And then uh, if you want to trade uh, to the downside, short stuff with puts and things like that, you can do that on a scenario three, or you just sit out, all right? People that are only looking at daily charts can't see the scenario three down. Just like this, uh, this week in the spy, scenario three down. People only looking at daily charts can't see this. Okay, they're uh, you know they don't see this scenario three down. They bought it up, and sold it down. All right, now it's the beginning of the year. We had the FOMO report, excuse me, the Fed report come out, uh, and uh, and you know things started going to the downside. That's fine. We also know it's the beginning the beginning of the year. There's no reason to panic. Let them open. All right, we know they're going to take profits in the beginning of the year. Let them take them. All right. And we also know that, that people are going to start placing their bets, all right? Just like racehorses, they're going to place their bets, you know? And uh, and we're going to get to that, too, because they started buying all, all energies, XLE, uh, 212 reversal up on the year. I'll show you that here just in a second, all right? So those are our three scenarios. Scenario one, doesn't take out either side of the previous range. Scenario two takes out one side of the previous range to the upside. A scenario two down is one that takes takes it to the downside. And then a scenario three where it takes out both sides of the previous range. All right. Scenario three on a smaller time frame. This is a broadening formation. Broadening formations. That is the third universal truth of the strat. OK, if you choose you, if you choose to ignore any any of the um, any universal truths in the strat, you will get chopped up. If you try to just take that uh, the actionable signals and run with them, you will get chopped up. If you try to just trade with time frame continuity, you can do pretty good. Rob says you can do pretty good just with time frame continuity, but you also have to take in, into consideration broadening formations, okay? Because price discovery happens in a series of broadening formations. It's not horizontal, vertical, okay? All right, all right, that's it. That's it for the intro. That's it for the intro. Uh, very first question of the day. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon from Florida. Awesome. Good afternoon. Very first question of the day so far is, do you ever look at volume? Me? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't look at volume. But there's people that do. Uh, are you a day trader? That's where that's when it comes to that's when it comes to your style of trading. And, and the strat always customizes itself to you and how you trade. Are you a day trader? You have to look at volume because you're putting in a lot of shares. Um, it, you know what I mean? That's that's up to you. That's what if that helps you, do it. Me personally, no. I've seen a lot of um, I, I've seen a lot of people with a lot of volume go straight into a scenario one. It doesn't do anything uh, the rest of the day. Um, so that's me. Uh, I don't look at volume, uh, but if you're working options. Uh, Daggone well, you better look at volume because you have to be able to get out of that option. There's got to be enough people in that option to be able to sell it, right? If there's only, uh, you know, 20 people in this thing or even 10 people or less in an option and you can't sell it. Now you're holding on to this loser. And if it's a winner and you can't sell it, it's going to turn into a loser. OK, so options definitely look at volume on that. Um so you can get out uh, when you have a winning position and then also if it's a loser. OK. So does that answer that question? Volume? Me personally, no, uh, but it depends on your trading style. Does that help you, Salem? I'll wait for you. Uh, while, while I'm waiting on you, yep, that's it. Thanks, cool. Um, let's see here. So, uh, so, far, so far the week, okay, here's the days. All right, January 4th, bam, we come in, 2-2 two -two reversal up. It's so what we do is we take these scenarios and we combine them into reversals, okay? 2-2 two -two reversal up and then... Here we come, bam, all right? Two, two reversal back down on the dailies, two, 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 all right? And then here's our 60s. Kind of lackluster on the 60s, uh, not really, right here was really good. You had your, you could have worked puts on that. Um, 
on this this action right here. Uh, good trending down right here. Uh, two two reversal in force right here. Even though this was it tried to go up just a little, and but then it just died. Okay, this is why we have our scenarios. And and then crapped out Friday, and then Friday just, it just did nothing, just trading sideways, doing nothing all day Friday. All right, look at all these hours stuck in these two bars here. All right, these two bars, compound outside bar. All these hours stuck in these two bars. Can you see that? Let's mark it. Let's mark it for the people that can't see it. And that's why we're here. Slow this thing down so you can see it, okay? Look at these hours. This is the daily. See? See this day? All right. Now, here's all these these hours. We did get our 2-2. Two, two, uh, yep. 2-2 two, two reversal back down. They only took it down for a little bit and then it stuck. That's why trading trading gets hard when it's um when the you know it's just trading sideways like this, doing nothing. All right, it gets hard. And uh and that's the times when you gotta know, hey, this is nothing but chop. I'm doing nothing. I'm just gonna sit out. And that's what I did. Uh I I sat out, I didn't take any new positions. Uh, what I did do is manage open positions, okay? Manage open positions. Uh, took some profits on some stuff and or moved my stops up if I thought this thing was going to crash. Um, excuse me, I should say crash, uh, reverse to the downside. Um, uh, take my profits, okay? Uh, didn't get stopped out on anything, still holding on some things uh, in oil. Uh, SLB, I'm holding uh, SLB, Chevron, Disney, still working them, okay? Still in those. All right, here we go. Uh, G, will you take two twos or do you stay away from them? Three twos. Okay. Uh, let's get into it. Three twos. I will take a three two. I like three twos. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Strat Sniper, she likes to, she stays away from them because she doesn't, she thinks they don't really go. Not me. I, if I, if I'm, you know, here's a three two down, but it, let's just say, oh, here, right here. I see what you're saying. Let's, let's say this three two right here. This, this guy right here. If this thing, yeah, I get it. If I get a three, I'm looking, I'm definitely looking for the three, two down. Okay. I'm definitely looking for this because the sellers already took it all the way down. All right. The only thing that, the only thing that um, could go with this scenario three, if it doesn't go inside and back up and back through, okay, through the previous range, it's definitely going to go down because the buyers took it up and then they sold it down. And it, you know, close as scenario three, and and you, you see it's red, so the sellers could definitely jump in, come come back in, and be more aggressive and take it further. So this week, yes. So next week, I definitely, I definitely see this as a scenario three to potential reversal to the downside. Okay, I know people don't want to hear that. Um, there's a lot of people out here uh, in Twitter don't want to hear that. Um, someone, someone actually told me my charts mean nothing. <laughs> Uh, but I'm definitely looking for the three two reversal to the downside on here on this. Um, the magnitude on three two reversal would be all the way down to four fifty one. Okay, now we know that's a lot. We know that's a lot. All right, uh, but we want to look at it. What do we know to be true? Potential three two reversal right here uh, on the week. If it doesn't hit magnitude, what are we looking at? <clears throat> if it doesn't hit magnitude, let's look at the dailies. If it doesn't hit magnitude on the weekly. You got here, and you got this guy, and and then here's our weekly. Okay, so here's the week. Let's make the here's our original trigger for a three two to the downside. Okay, and then here's our targets on the dailies. All right, now let's get if it, and then here's our week, right here four fifty one, four fifty one. Um. <laughs> uh 451 is our weekly okay but let's just say it doesn't hit the week you know here's our magnitude on these dailies right here okay we get the two two continuations on the on the dailies all right so there could be some targets to take out um when i draw it when we draw these broadening formations we are not suggesting it's going to go all the way down there but if it does not reverse that's where it's going to go okay that's much more there's high higher probability that it's going to go down there. Okay. Here's, here it is. Um, that's our actual target. We don't just make up numbers. All right. So does that answer your question? Three, two, I will take a three, two reversal up or down. 
I that's what I look for. Waiting for Brad Wise. Brad Wise. I know he's on. I know he's on the treadmill. I know he's on the treadmill. We're gonna go through the macro list here as well. Uh, whoa, that's a long one. That's a long Nick. Make it smaller. I can't read all that. <laughs> make it smaller. <laughs> make it smaller. Three two to the downside uh, or the upside. I will take it. I will work that. Um, higher probability of that. Uh, Brad, wait, got it. All right, um, so it says something trick. Okay, hold on. This is, a, hold on, give me this, this a big, long question. Um, all right, okay, he's talking about uh, when the trigger, when your reversal triggers and he's getting in on 30s that keep stopping him out. All right, you'll have to show me a you'll have to show me something that you are talking about. What chart? Show me a chart, Nick. And then also uh remember Friday, it was doing nothing. Okay. There's this is Thursday and Friday doing nothing. Okay. Not really doing much, kind of flat line. All right. Boo! You know, it ain't dead all the way, but it's just flat line right here. Okay. All right. Give me a minute. I'll find it. Okay. Got you, Nick. But yeah, yeah. So let's just say thirties. Okay. Thirties. I'm getting stopped out. I'm getting stopped out. Look how, look at this. Look how tight the range is. <clears throat> look how tight the range is. Uh, we did some, uh, we did some episodes last year with Sarah Strat Sniper and a couple of other people talking about um, actually Sarah Strat Sniper, definitely talking about falling wedges and symmetrical wedges and tight ranges. Okay. This is all scenario one. If you combine all of these, this is scenario one in these two bars here, okay? All right, let's mark it, all right? Right here. You got a little bit right there, but look at that, stuck. All these bars stuck in these two here, okay? Stuck. 30s doing nothing, but I can see what you're talking about. There's two, two reversals up. And then it goes up here and then, you know, right here. And then it kind of craps out, you know, shooter right here. And then, yeah, Friday, 30s, doing nothing on the spy. Just up and down, up and down. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can see that there. Definitely big time, big time. Uh, please repeat your your max stop size. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't use pips for stops. Um, Yep, perfect example. That's what I'm looking for. Awesome, awesome. I'm thank you, Nick. Thank you. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So if you're getting stopped out a lot, okay, I'm in. No, I'm getting stopped. Okay, I'm buying calls. No, no. Yeah, okay, good. It's working. It's working. No, okay, sell it. Okay, we're getting puts. Two two reversal down. Nope, it's coming back up. No, it's coming back down. No, I got this. Okay, three two down. I'm gonna go ahead and get puts. It's it's gonna work. And then it comes back up. Scenario three. If it's just chopping around like this, okay. Uh, go to a higher time frame. See what's really happening. Okay, this wasn't a scenario. Uh, this was a scenario one most of the day until the very end of the day, and then they completely took it all the way out. So, uh, yeah, chop shop, chop shop. Awesome. Thank you very much. Good example. I'm, that's why we're here. Slow this stuff down. Um, I want to get to the macro list, answering a few questions here. Uh, I want to get to the macro list. Rob C, Rob C wants to talk about stops. All account sizes are different, okay? We all have different account sizes, and we have different um, – let's go to SLB. All right, we got, uh, you know, different account sizes and different risk, toler risk for tolerance, okay? Tolerance for risk. <laughs> all right. But if I am taking, I'm telling you right now, I trade common too, okay, guys? So uh, all you options traders out there, you know, that's way too much risk. Why would you do that? You know, it's, I understand that the top, the stops can always be tighter, okay? Here is, uh, we're going to get to the macro list. Uh, where's my drawing tools? I want to, here's a 3-2 reversal right here. All right, let's make it big. So everybody, when you guys watch this later on, you can kind of go find this yourself. All right, SLB, SLB. Here's a three, one, two reversal up, okay? If I'm going to take, a, excuse me, a two, one, two reversal back up, two, one, two, okay? If I'm going to get in on something like this, 
All right. Uh, here's my actionable signal to get in. This is my entry for this one. And my stop is going to go right here. All right. That's where I put my stop. What is that? A few pennies. Okay. Now, if you're trading lots of lots of shares, you can always make it tighter. Uh, but on the 60, that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting in here and I'm, and I'm, you know what I mean? And then my stop is going right there. That's where exactly where I'm putting my stop. I don't predict. I don't, um, I don't predict. I don't. Uh, okay. Here's a two, one, two reversal up. And then, you know, I bet you if there's a two, one and I bet you it's going to go two up. And so I buy, and you know what I mean? I don't do that. Get in early crap. That's how you're going to get wrecked. Get doing that. Get in early stuff. Okay. Two, one, two reversal up. I put my stop right here. Okay. It did trade down here a little bit and then come back up here. Bam. That's my entry. <clears throat> and if I would have kept my stop there, if I just hold my stop, don't mess with it. Okay. You could see it continued up. I could still be holding that. Then once it gets up in here, it takes this guy out. I could do two things. Either take the magnitude, all right, or walk. Take my take the take the magnitude, take my profits and walk, or hold it. Okay. Then I would take my, let's make this red. Let's make this um, let's make this green. All right. And then let's make this red. Okay. I hold it. Let's just say for a swing trade, because I'm a swing trader. I'm a tank. I'm not a sniper. Okay. I am a tank. Here's my swing trade on the 60s. All right. It gets up in this area the next day. Heck yeah. Looking good. I can put my, I could take my stop, put it even. Okay. Ah, carry. Oh, there it is. Bam. I take my stops, make it even. Okay. Just make that uh, line green just so we're all no let's keep it red because I'm going to show you something and then as the 60s move up I can move my stops up the 60s okay once it gets past my entry okay or I can you know I mean do this on the 30s or you know I mean if this is dailies and weekly weeklies or whatever but I could still be in this I could have got stopped out here I'm not sure um but I could still be in this thing depending on the spreads I could still be in this thing okay now, there was a shooter here, but it did not go in force. The day ended, okay? That's how you get stopped out with profit. Now, <laughs> most people are not going to um, – okay, that's how you do it, okay? That's it. That's how you create winning positions, defend them, and uh, you defend them with tight stops. And then you push your stops up so you get stopped out with profit. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, if you are, um, if you're a day trader, you can do that on the, on the, on the five minute charts. You know what I mean? Get in on the 60, but then use the five minutes to push your stops up there. So if it gets stops out, if it gets stopped out, you get stopped out with profit and it's not a loser. Makes sense. All right. Uh, Rob C says, uh, same stop for me, but if the candle is too big, I keep it max. I don't know what that means. Max something. I don't know what you're saying. Max something. Rephrase that, please. That's how you do it. Okay. Again, one more time for for slow it down. Okay. Slow it down. That's why we're here. Okay. Slob, S L B. They're buying energy. All right. Here's my entry. Bam. If I don't mess with it, you know what I mean? Here's my stop. If I get stopped out, that's a pretty good, even if you're doing options, that's not crazy. Okay. Um, you can, I mean, that sucks, but if you're doing options, that ain't great, but you're still not getting wrecked, okay? Tight stop. And then as it, you know what I mean? And then the next day, if it doesn't stop me out, I'm still holding. I can move my stops even just in case they start something dumb happens during the day. Doesn't get, doesn't stop me out. I have a choice. You know what I mean, I can keep my stops even and, and see where this thing goes, or I can start pushing my stops up the 60s. So if I get stopped out, I get stopped out with profit. And then you can find way, you know, and then if you add, we always add to our winning positions. If you add to your winning positions, you know, you move your stops up. But what you're going to do is <clears throat> do whatever you can do to get stopped out with profit. Add to your winning positions and defend them with tight stops. Uh, the mess, the pushing up. Yep, that's right, Sunshine. Got to push them stops up. <clears throat> this was This is between the entry and the low of the signal candle can be from one cent to 50 cents max. 
Uh, distance between entry and low of the signal candle can be from one cent to 50 cents max. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, depending on what your shares are and, uh, you know, your trading style is and how, how much you're putting on, I understand. I understand the stops can always be tighter. <clears throat> the stops can always be tighter, but that's where I'm putting them. Uh, that's where I'm putting them. I don't know if that, that, that helped you, Rob. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going mean, to drink some coffee here. and We'll start going through the macro list here. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, <clears throat> never put your, uh, here, I'll say this. I'll say this. Uh, never put your stock. Okay, here, here we go. Never do this. Ne don't be this guy. Uh, let's make this one. Okay, that's why I'm red. Let's make this one green, okay? Don't be, don't be the guy who's putting their stop at the low of the candle, okay, of this previous candle or this one. Or they do this. They go to the daily. Yeah. And they put their stop at the low of the day. Yeah. That looks like it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. But those are the, those stops. That's what we're looking for. I want I, I want you to put your stop there. So when this thing reverses the downside, I know I'm taking you out. You know what I mean? Besides, that's way too much risk. Okay. That's way too much risk on the daily to, to put your stop way down here. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Forum question. Yep. Stick it in the forums. Yep. Very good. Very good. Put it in the forums. That's another thing, too, with Sepia Group. We got forums. Uh, got them forums so you, we can, you know, you don't have to worry about all that social media stuff and you get some one on one attention and we can go through all your charts and all your questions in full and the entire community can work with you and you don't have to worry about a bunch of mess because we are here to help each other out and, and uh, create winning positions. Heck, yeah. Yeah, that seems way too low. Yeah, whiskey ginger. Yeah, that's too much. Uh, that's too much. But, um, you know, people are going to do what they, you know, that, I'm not talking about Rob C, but people are going to do what they feel like they need to do. And then um, that's where you come up with your own rules and your own trading, you know what I mean, style, strat style. Okay. So let's go through, uh, let's go through some yearly charts, macro list. Rob came out with the macro list. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, spoil the fun with Rob next week, but the macro list, a lot of sectors here, 115 symbols. Holy crap. That is a lot of symbols. And it's, you know, you can see he went through all of them. He goes through all the sectors. If you watch the macro list, is the macro vid, he breaks it down. You don't need to work all 115. I like to put it all in there because I want to, I want to go, go where they're going right now. But, um, if you only like working uh, tech, you know, only watch the back row vid and get those tech stocks. If you like watch, you know, retail, only get in there and get those, you know, 15 retail, uh, you know, stocks, you know, and watch those. Uh, same thing with finance, energy, you know, you don't, you know, you don't need to take all 115 symbols. Uh, pick a sector, work it. All right. Um, pick a sector and work it. Still new to the Strat community. What's up, Travis? Um, Good to finally watch you live after so yeah 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 uh, thanks for watching those YouTube vids it's really cool uh, that they're out there uh, and yeah but this is where we do it live so heck yeah thanks for being here I I, I really really appreciate it um, Rob C yep we already got somebody whiskey ginger heck yeah they already like your uh, one to fifty cent rule on uh, on your stop that's good man. That's good. If you're just trying to show me that, I understand. I get it. Um, let's do some. Let's do some macro. You know, Ford macro charts. Ford on the year two two continuation up on the year. Shut up. <laughs> can you swing trade in the in the in the strat? Yes, you can swing trade with the strat. Hammer and force from last year. I yelled Ford all year last year. People getting, I'm getting on people's nerves that I keep talking about Ford. Nobody watches them grandpappy stocks. Yeah, yeah. You should have been watching Ford. Because now, once it gets all the way up in here, 18, 20, 21, all of a sudden people are like, oh, let's look at Ford. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ford's making this. And let's watch the news on Ford and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but tell, I told you all year about this. I told you all year um do 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 yep uh salem uh, when it comes to options i use options sparingly okay sparingly uh i like to do common that's what i do 
Uh, yep, right. That's what I'm saying. I am a tank. That's right, sunshine. And if this signal isn't, this signal was in force all year last year. And I like to tell you that I did, you know what I mean? I just bought it at $9 and just held it the whole time. That'd be, that'd be great, right? Um, but I didn't, okay? What I did do is I worked this thing. Whenever it was whenever it was full-time frame continuity to the upside, I am in. Here's the months. Here's the weeks, okay? And we had gap ups and gap downs, you know what I mean? You have the, you know, the, the old soul operas as the wheel turns, you know what I mean? As the people start, you know, buying and selling and the thing goes up and it goes down and the triangles... As the triangles, you know what I mean. As they get triangled out, we need a we need a new uh, a new show. We need a we need a, a new a soap proper called as the as they get triangled out. Okay, and as it went up, I worked it. As it went down, I cut it. As soon as it got two two reversal back up, I'd get in it. Two two reversal back down, I'd cut it. Okay, take my profits. Move on. Work some other things. All right, here we go. Three, two, reversal back up. That's what I was talking about. Uh, me and Brad Wise were talking about just a few, few few minutes ago. Three, two, reversal back up. I am in. Working it. All right. Two, two, reversal back down. Cutting it. All right. And then you had some funkiness going on in here. Then you had some, uh, then you had, finally, you had your three, one. Uh, you had a red strat right here. Red strat. Uh, red strat week scenario one two two back up bam goodbye in they face in they face uh ford ford that yellow line is the two two continuation on the year okay small stock uh, uh easy stock not a lot of volatility it when it goes up it goes up when it goes down it goes down but it's not gonna you're not gonna get whipshot okay um and so like I said, they waited all year. Nobody touched it. Uh, you know, very few people touched it. All you know, all the people on you know uh, FinTwit and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Why you keep talking about this old stock? And then all of a sudden they started making numbers. Then all of a sudden they you know they want to get in. Oh, oh okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Yearly charts. Let's get back to the macro vid. Uh, macro vid. Some good ones. Airlines. Uh, the year. A lot of inside years. Okay, I'm not gonna. A uh, lot of inside years. Look at this yearly chart. Uh, what I did in trading view is you can go in there, you make custom, um, you can make custom time frames, okay, and you um, make one for twelve months. Bam! Now you have your yearly charts, okay. All right, so uh, American Airlines. All right, two, one, two, shooter on the year, shooter on the year, closer to going to the downside, currently inside. All right, but this this thing can also go two, one, two reversal back up. So inside year, let's see what they do on airlines, okay. We'll put this here. It's honestly, it's a shooter. We're looking for this to go down, but uh, it could go either way. You know, maybe they'll get their act together. You know, they're canceling flights. They're doing all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, did you put the macro vid trading view text file? Oh, yeah, I'll. You know what, Sunshine? I'll put the. I do have all the. Uh, I do have the file for uh, the macro uh, vid, and I will put that in the forms in Sapier Group. Again, something also I do for for you guys in Sapier Group. I take the weekly vid. And the macro, you know, I, the, definitely macro vid now, but definitely the weekly vid. I'll take all those, put them in a watch list for you, stick them in there so you can just download it and you got it. Dunzo. Um, American Airlines inside bar for the year. Airbnb, look at this thing. Inside bar. Holy crap. People looking at daily charts don't see this. They're looking for some kind of, you know what I mean, separate, you know, wedge in this thing. And maybe it'll go. And we're looking at news and nah. Look at this inside year. Shut up. Uh, give me some reversals on the month to the upside. Then I'll talk to you. Okay. Uh, Adobe inside year. Golly, Adobe. All right. Is it going to go, you know, 212 reversal to the downside? I don't know, but it it's set up for that. It's set up for that. But it also could go 212 reversal on the year up. That's what everybody wants, right? Up to, up to 702. Okay. Uh, Merck, uh, A A E R C A E R C. Um, let's get A E R C. We'll, we'll get to it. Remind me here, Luz, in just a minute. Uh, inside year for a firm, a firm, all this noise about a firm, not saying it's a bad company, nothing like that, but you bought it up, you sold it down. Now, you know, inside, inside, let's see what they want to do. You're going to have to look at the months. To, to work this thing. This is brand new, brand, brand new. All right, AMC, you got your inside year. 
you're, you're going to keep holding on to that apes. I mean, you probably will. You know, <laughs> you guys talk about diamond hands. I got strat hands. You know what I mean? I want to get in there where it's actually working, where it is moving. Yep, we're going to get to that, Rob C. AMC, oh, AMR, AMCR, inside year 212. Uh, looking for a 212 continuation or 212 reversal down. Amazon, inside year, inside year. We got some funky lines in here. Um, inside year so far. Um, yeah, what do you see? Two, I see a 212 reversal to the downside potential, but it's, you know, we'll see. We'll see. All right. This is this is the year right now. Two two reversal back down or two two continuation back up. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, A P A with the oils. All right. Two one two. And we're waiting for this thing to go to thirty one fourteen. And then you got a two one two reversal back up to the upside on the year. Remember my example with Ford. OK. On the year. Here we go. Two, one, two reversal. Does the strat work on bigger time frames? Yes. Okay. It works on all time frames. All right. Look at that. All right. There's the magnitude on that. 3393. But if we take that out, you know what I mean? Look at that. Machine good on the year. I don't know. We'll see. People will be crying about gas prices, but I'll be in here on this stock. <laughs> AVTR. Uh AVTR. Uh, three, two, looking for, mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going on here right now. Currently opened up inside B a Boeing flying coffins inside, inside shooter on the year. Looking for this thing to go two one two reversal back down. Now it could go, it could go back up. It's a scenario one. Okay. It could go either way, but my actionable signal is here below this shooter at one, uh, one eighty five twenty six. 185.26, there'll be people out here telling you to buy Boeing because they are selling a premium on this joker and they want you to buy options, okay? Anyway, or they're bag holding this thing from last year all the way up at uh, uh, 278.93. You make your own trading decisions. I'm going with the strat, with the shooter on the year. Uh, yep, yep. Kate, gangster, gangster, that's right. On that other chart uh, previously, uh, that was definitely a, a potential APA uh, go back to APA, pivot machine gun on the year. Shut up. That's what I'm talking about. Give it to me. Um, uh, yeah, I don't need to be reading news when the action price action is like that. All right. Uh, Bank of America, 2-2 continuation up. Heck yeah. We had a really good trader that's in uh, CPU Group right now. Works some good stuff in Bank of America. That was awesome. See, check out my Twitter there. Um, on that post, uh, B A X Baxter Baxter, uh, two one two, uh, reversal in mm, came back in just a few cents, but it is two one two reversal. Mm, that two one two would be a continuation because the, the price didn't get taken down here, even though this is red, it didn't drop below here, so it'd be a two one two continuation up, uh, up to 9532. Uh, Bed, bath, and beyond. Shooter enforced to the downside. Uh, you know, I you want to buy something, you want to uh you want to short some stuff. Shooter enforced to the downside. Salem. Uh question in the chat. Double hammer or shooter. Is there more convincing when there's single hammer or shooter? Uh I don't look for double stuff. Uh double, you know, the people look at inside, inside bars. That just means it's stuck to me. All right. Uh, if I got two hammers. You know they're trying. The buyers are trying really hard, but until it trades above that hammer, I only I only look at this. Um, uh, here's a good example. Okay, here's a, uh, these aren't double hammers, but here's a here's a situation where the buyers stepped in. Okay, to scenario two up. Okay, and then here's another scenario two up. It's still two up, and it's a hammer, but I'm only looking at this current bar. Okay, and if it's not trading above that hammer, I am not touching it. Okay. I am not touching it. So I don't look for double hammers, double shooters, none of that stuff. It just means they're, I mean, if, if you got two of them in there, I mean, they're trying really hard. They just ain't until it trade, until it goes, then I'm actually, then I'm actually hitting it. Okay. Until it goes, I don't, I don't predict. I don't, don't get in early. Okay. Um, yeah. But if you see that and that works for you, double hammers, double shooters, uh, inside, inside stuff that works for you, go ahead, go ahead. 
but don't take it until it actually trades above or below your actionable signal, okay? All right, shooter enforced, bed bath, we ate blood bath, <laughs> blood bath living up to its name. Uh, best buy shooter on the year. All right, looking for the 212 reversal down. Magnitude is going to be 48. Is it actually going to do it? It's the beginning of the year. We don't know. It's just now Saturday, the 8th. Okay. Heck yeah, Salem. Um, yep. Hopefully. Yep. 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 Again, if it works for you, post, see me on Twitter. Uh, show me some charts. If it works, it works. Um, okay. Rob C is talking to him now. Heck yeah. BLL uh, looking for the 212 continuation up. Above 9809. Bristol Myers looking for the 2 2 continuation up. Currently opening up inside, kind of stuck. But there's your broad information. It could go. Why is this on the macro bit? Let's go to the quarterly. Let's go to the quarterly. That's what we're looking for. The two, the three, two, two. That's why it's on the macro list. Heck yeah. It's going to be the, like these are quarterly charts, macro list. Three, two, two. Magnitude on this thing is right here. All right, 6973, 6975. All right, macro vid, Bristol Myers, quarterly charts, BSX. Uh, what was this one? Is this yearly? BSX. Yep, looking for the two, one, it's a slight two, two, two continuation up. It's got to be from the quarterly. Boom. All right. Looking for the 2-2 two -two reversal back up on the quarterly right here. Right here above 43, 45, 43. Okay. Until it hits that, I ain't touching it. All right. You're selling. Oh, I'm selling Bristol Myers at 68. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. 68. 68. Hey, it could do it. And that, that's another thing, too. Um, <clears throat> that's okay. If the magnitude is 69, 75, I got a uh, comment in here from old Saudi trader says he's going to, even though, even though the magnitude is, uh, 69, 75, he's going to sell it at 68. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, as long as you are doing what you need to do to get stopped out with profit that makes, if it, if it works, do it. Uh, what's some good, another good one, cat tractor, two, one, two reversal on the quarter to the upside. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Magnitude on this thing is, oh, no, wrong one. The magnitude on this thing is 20, uh, 246.69. Heck yeah, cat tractor. Get, um, you know, get. It's it, Green means buy, they're buying it, okay? All right, CCL, all right, Carnival Cruise Lines. So are we going to get back on cruises? You know, are we going to start doing that again? I don't know. Right now. Inside year, 212 reversal, potential 212 reversal to the downside, okay? To the downside. When your buddies are at the water cooler and they keep saying, uh, you know, I bought another, you know, 100 shares of Carnival Cruise, uh, you know, just, just look at them and nod. Be nice. Don't be mean. Be nice to them. <laughs> CLF. All right. CLF. Three, two, up. Where are we looking at? Uh, two, uh, Rev Strat. Rev Strat. Rob C. brought this one up. CLF from the macro vid, Revstrat right here, Revstrat quarter, that's the month, hold on, that's that's definitely, you can work that right now, Revstrat month, on the month, what's it doing on the quarterly, uh, still sitting in a quarterly, but definitely on the month, that is working on the month, good call out there, Rob C, uh, coin, still dying, still dying on the vine. Yearly charts, look at that. You know, golly coin. I mean, it, I mean, I don't know. It could happen. It could go start going back up, but that don't look like it to me, right? <laughs> no. CRM. We're not gonna go through all of these. Uh, we got some messy stuff on that one. Let me get a CVX with the oils. XLE. Let's show me good. Show me. I'm gonna end you with some good stuff. Good stuff. On the on the year. Two, one, two, reversal back up on Chevron. How do I know this is working? Because they are buying it. It traded above. Um, it traded above 119.50. That's my entry. And hopefully it goes up to 134. That's what I'm working for. That is what I'm working for. If they take it at 127, I'll take my profits there. If this is still, this is a yearly chart. 
So as long as this is in force, I'm going to keep working it. When the when it when they're buying it on the month in the week, and this is still in force on the year, I'm going to keep buying Chevron. Okay, I'm going to keep working it. I'm going to keep working it. Uh, let's go to XLE. XLE. What the tech? Excuse me. XLE. I'm thinking about two different things at the same time. XLE with the oils. 212 reversal back up. Here's your broadening formation on the year. Okay. Everybody's talking about tech, and that's where I flubbed up my words. Everyone's talking about tech. X L E. All right. Go ahead and buy your electric cars because these this is oil, you know, these are these energies, oil. All right. Buying it. All right. They're buying it. This is 212 reversal up on the year. That gives you SLB. We already talked about it. SLB. Uh, that I typed, yep, typed in the wrong thing here. Hold on. Oh, there's slob. There it is. Came up. SLB. All right. Still waiting. I'm in it right now, but still waiting. Uh, I'm working a reversal on the smaller time frame here. Right here, 2-2 two -two reversal back up on the month. Okay. So that green line is the year. That yellow line you see is the year. I'm working this 2-2 two -two reversal back up on the month and in that. But going back to the macro uh, the macro vid with the year, all right, if, you're, if you ain't in it now, you ain't missed it, okay? If you're not in it right now, you did not miss it, okay? Once it gets above, once it trades above 36, uh, 87, hit, you can hit that, hit it, punch it right in the face. Possible pivot machine gun up for the rest of the year, okay? SLB, that also gives you, let's just go down the energy stocks. What are we, what are we messing around with? What are we messing around with? Uh, you got uh, you got Chevron. We already talked about Chevron. Devin, give me Devin. Come on, give me Devin. Well, things locked up. Just... Come on, there you go. <laughs> two two up, two two continuation up on the year. You can do that. I got some old stuff on here. You can do that. All right, you can do that. 2-2 two, two, continuation up. Find the reversal in this thing. Back up. All right. For the year, my, why am I, my trading view slowing down? Come on, macro. There you go. 2-2 two, two, continuation up on EOG. Fang. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's do some chart. Go down energies. Go down energies. 2-2 two, two, continuation up on Fang. What's another good one? XOM. Oh, PSX. We're going to go through that one, too. Let me look at PSX. Why? Is it? Yep. Come on. Spit them out. Give me my charts. Two. What is that? What is that? Two, one, two, reversal back up on the year. Okay? You're looking for, you don't know where to go. Uh, go to the things that they're buying on the macro list. On the, on the macro list. Okay? Uh, what was the other chart? Let's do some chart requests real quick. What was the... Um, what was that? E A E R C A E R C. Where's my mouse here? Yep. A E R C A E R C. What do you want to look at on A E R C? The macro or ooh A E R C? What do you see on the year? What do you see? What do you see on the on the year? All right. This is closer to going three two to the downside. What are you looking for on A E R C? Give me some chart requests real quick. I'll give them to you. All right. Same thing on the quarter. I'm seeing the exact same thing on the quarter. What do you got? They are selling this thing. They are selling the crap out of this. Why are you looking at this? AERC. Is this for a Uh, Is this for a Is this for, uh, is this for shorting? You shorting this thing? Cause that's what it's doing. You might get a 2-2 two -two reversal back up or a ref strat on the weekly. Yeah, inside bar, two down, two back up. That would be really interesting there. Waiting for Lesmar to get back in here. Oh, oh, let me move my chat down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, month, yeah, month, what could be next? All right, what's, okay, so we always say, what's the next two? What's the next two, okay? On the macro charts, this thing is going to the downside. They are selling the crap out of this. All right. But you could get a rev strat week where it goes, 
one, two, two back up above 1157. Okay. And then your stop is, I mean, your stop was not going to be very much. I mean, the risk is not very much on this. You know what I mean? So uh, if this thing goes rev strat weak, two, one, two reversal, one, two, two back up. All right. You could probably, here's your magnitude on that. All right. Here's your magnitude on that. If it trades above this, it goes two back up on the week. Uh, 1526 is your magnitude on that. Okay. Makes sense, Lesmar. What's the next two? Okay. Now you're you're definitely trading against um time frame, uh, full time frame continuity. But if you know the strat, you know your reversals, you know what you're looking at, you know how to set your stops, you can do tricky stuff like that. Just expect, just don't expect it to go very far. You know what I mean? You're not looking for this thing to go. Yes. Okay, good. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Lesmar gets it. Lesmar gets it. Okay. She, looking for um, looking for a, a red strat on the week. If it does not hit 11.57, not touching it. If it does, I'm, hitting, I'm getting these. Okay. These guys. Well, I, that's what I like about strategies because we're not coming in here and going, I'm buying at $11 and it's going to go to 117 I mean, that isn't that is an actual target. But, uh, you know, you get these apes out here. You got, you know, all these crazy other traders out here and they're just they're buying stuff and they're saying it's going to three thousand and they have no apps. They have absolutely no reason for this to go up that high. And because they're, you know, they're reading news and they're, you know, um, I don't know, there's investors and all that other stuff. But um, AERC, I like what you're looking at. You're looking at a, a possible rev strat on the week. If it does it good. If it doesn't, don't take it. OK, don't force it. I like it. I like it. Um, H-O-N, H-O-N, H-O-N. Uh, let's go to the quarterly. Let's go to the year just for fun. Since we're talking about macro stuff for the year inside. Uh, yep. Looking for the 2-2 reversal back down. That is a shooter right there. OK, it's a little ugly shooter. Call that an ugly shooter. Looking for that to go back to the downside, but it could go up. Let's go look at the quarter. Mm, bam. All right. The quarter, it could go 2 2 reversal back up at 228 27, 228 27, and back into the highs. Okay, going through these the previous range here. I see what you're looking at there. All right, H O N. What are you looking at on the month? H O N 2 2 reversal back up. All right, now this is last week. All right, you could get in on this right here. Bam, 3 2 2. Now, I didn't take out the magnitude here on the three. So what you could do is uh, if you hey, if you put your stop here, we already talked about stops. If you put your stop there, you didn't get stopped out. If two is next next week, you got next week goes two two continuation. You're looking to take out twenty seven, excuse me, twenty eight sixteen. Okay, twenty eight sixteen on the month. This is monthly charts. No, excuse me, I apologize. This is monthly charts. It's three it's three two two up on the month. Three two two up on the month. Uh, so yeah, you could be working that you could be in on that. Good job, Rob. See, that's a good one. I like that one. And you're looking for another two, two continuation up next week. Um, cause this is where your actual signal is on that weekly. All right. I got caught up in my words and my time frames. All right. There you go. H O N. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, not, no, no actionable signals for next week. Okay. Next week, uh, you're, I would look for the dailies or the 60s to find a reversal to get in on that if it is a 2-2 continuation up. But you got earnings on the 24th. Watch out for that. All right. Watch out for that one. What else you got? What else you got? Heck yeah. People in the chat talking. HPE. HPE. Where's my, where's my little do that? HPE. Give it to me. Where you at? Uh, looking at the year, looking at the year, we are 2-2 two, two continuation up. Woo, look at that. Nice. Quarterly, quarterly, 2-2 two, two continuation up on the quarterly, HPV, HPE. Very good. Health Hotel, Papa Echo, 3-2 up on the month. Uh, we already talked about uh, taking 3 twos. So I will definitely do that. People got murdered in here. Holy crap. What is this? A one? Th <laughs> look at this. People got murdered in here, but now it's moving, okay? So these people right here are mad, and they will never trade this ever again. I hate HPE. <laughs> they got wrecked. 
But uh, the three two reversal back up. Very good. Very good. Uh, e O G. I already talked about E O G, but we'll do it again. E O G. E O G. Two up. Two two reversal up on the month. Uh, we got it's got earnings in March. What's it? It's it's two two continuation up on the quarter. It's oil. They're buying oils. It's two two continuation up on the year. Okay. Stay on this thing. Stay on it. Um, it. You know, stay on it. Just keep work. Kill it till it's dead. Keep working it until it ain't working no more. That's what I say. And then take your profits. Move on. EOG. I'd be working that one. Heck yeah. Uh, DraftKings. All oh, you guys. You, you guys in the DraftKings. I tell you what. Let me. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. 2-2 two, two continuation down on the year. I don't know what this line is in here for. We'll get rid of it. 2-2 two, two continuation down on the year. DraftKings. Let me say it again. Uh, here's my microphone. 2-2 two, two continuation down on the year on DraftKings. <laughs> uh, it's funny because we keep telling them it's, you know, they're getting rid of this thing. They're, they're, it's, they're selling it. You don't have to tell me they're not, you know, what's going on in the news and, I don't care. Look at the price action. All right, look at the quarter. 2-2 two, two continuation. Where is it at? 2-2 two, two continuation down on the quarter. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to drown you guys out, but look at that thing. All right, but I know why you I know. I know why you put this in here. I know why you put this in here because JJ was calling out Giraffe Kings on Friday. Why? Because it had a 2-2 two, two reversal up on the day. Giraffe Kings get. He was yelling, "Draft Kings get." JJ likes to look at those really beat up guys. You know, they, those guys that really, you know, they're and they're in the alley. They just, you know, they've been getting pounded on. You know, they're just getting beat up and stuff. He likes to look. He likes to go for those guys. Uh, you know, he wants to work it all the way back up. Uh, two two reversal on the day, Draft Kings. If you're in on this, okay, and you set your stops, all right, we get a two two continuation up next week. What's what's the weekly look like? Hammer on the week. Hammer on the week. Okay. I'm all right. All right. Hammer on the week. DraftKings. Hammer on the week. You're already in. Let's just say you're already in from uh from JJ yesterday. Two two up on the day, which gave you a reason to get in. Okay. You didn't just buy the dip. And I like this. Good job bringing this up because it goes right back to my buy the dip uh conversation. I just, we don't just start buying stuff that's, you know, we don't just buy the dip. We buy the reversal back up. 2-2 two, two reversal back up on the day. Possible, possible pivot machine gun up on these dailies. Why? Because of the hammer on the week. Hammer on the week. If you're not in on DraftKings already, don't worry about it, okay? Hammer on the week. But just for this example, okay? Just for this example, we're already in on DraftKings. My green line's going to be my entry, okay? My green line's my entry because JJ called it out. Now, next week, if it goes, uh, give me a yellow line here. We'll make it yellow. And we'll make the, yeah, we'll make it yellow. We'll just leave it at that. Make it yellow. It trades above 2855, okay? 2855 is the actual signal for next week. DraftKings, hammer, okay? My stop is way down here, okay? from the daily charts okay from the dailies now next week hammer on the on the week it goes in force now i have a choice i can i only take this magnet tool turn it off now i take my stops and i put them even okay so if this thing they go it goes two up hits the magnitude at 2956 and then drops you know what i mean i i push my stops up you know what i mean and take profit or you know what i mean i just get stopped out okay but um I know you're smart and I know you'll look at those dailies and you'll figure out a way to push these stops up and take profits. Okay. But, uh, or along with that, uh, this goes in force. It takes the magnitude here. Okay. And then here's your other targets. Okay. Now, now you're in DraftKings. Now you're trading something that's completely beat up and you're in from Friday. Okay. Two, two reversal back up on the daily. You're going to push your stops up these targets. OK, you can either keep it even and see how far it goes. All right. But you're going to have some kind of stop in there that you can push up and take profits. If you're going to work it on the weekly. 
tank style, like a tank, and start blasting this thing and just stay where it's at. They keep buying it, keep moving your stops up, okay? Let's just say, just for this example, it gets up to 33.75, okay? That's it, you know what I mean? Let's just say uh, you got earnings coming up and we know people, here's earnings on February 22nd. People like buying stuff into earnings, okay? They're buying options, they're buying shares, they're buying all kinds of crazy stuff because it's basically a gamble, let's see where it goes, okay? And we know they like to do that. So we are using the effort, we, we're trading what we know to be true, there's a hammer on the week, and we know people like to buy into earnings. I got a month to get there. People are going to start buying into this thing, okay? Hammer and force, I'm in it, all right? I'm working this thing. Now I'm pushing my stops up. Don't get stopped out here, okay, cool. Keep Next week, keep pushing my stops up, okay? Now you're swing trading this thing smartly, okay? And the, the, honestly, the easiest way to do that is with shares, okay? Because I know your option traders are looking at those DK, uh, the, the Greeks and the DK and all that stuff. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's going to work against you. You know what I mean? So um, you're pushing your stops up. And let's just say 33.75 is it, okay? 33.75 is it. Where's your target at? Back here, okay? Now, let's just say 33.75, it gets there. And it, it craps out. It hits 33.75, hits the magnitude on that day. You got your stops pushed up to 33.25. You get stopped out, okay? What do you get stopped out with? <laughs> what do you get stopped out with? Put it in the chat. <laughs> Put it in the chat. What do you get stopped out with? I'm not going anywhere. I know, where I know I'm four minutes over. I want you to understand this. If I, if I work this thing... And I keep pushing my stops up, and the target is 33.75 on the weekly. But I kept pushing my stops up the dailies, and I get stopped out. I get that's right, Kate, gangster, gangster. I get stopped out with that money. Rob C says stopped out with that dough. Heck yeah, I don't know what you got. What do you guys call dough? And is it still dough in the UK? Is it is it biscuits? <laughs> I'm kidding. Swiss man says that money. Heck yeah. Profits, baby. Profits, profits, profits. Uh, that is right. And everybody else out there will be, you know, in, I don't know. We're not worried about everybody else. I'm just saying, get stopped out with profit. That's what. That's our goal. That's what we do. That's what we want to do. That's what we're going to do. And go back to the comment that uh, old salty trader, uh, he was saying, you know what? I bet you this thing's, I know the target. He'll, he'll say, he said this. I know the target is 33.75. You know what? I'm going to sell it at 30. Okay, fine. You sell it at 30. Where, uh, no, no. He says uh, he's going to sell it even at $33. Okay. He's going to sell it even at $33. My stop, you know, I keep pushing it up. $33 even. All right. You still get stopped out with profit. Let's just say it doesn't even get, it doesn't even get to this guy right here. It gets to this one. You know what I mean? I keep pushing my stops up. You know what I mean? It hits 30. He sells. It causes a lot of other people to sell. It triggers here. I still get stopped out with profit. I'm in way down here. Okay. And then that's what people say, you know, the, you know, the stress not really where, you know, the stress not real, the stress, this and that you guys aren't really taking these things. It's hard to prove that, um, that you're really, you have to trade it. You have to trade it. You have to trade it for it to make sense to you. Paper trade, paper trade. Don't lose money. Uh, trying to learn this stuff. Uh, what I'm saying is you have to trade it to understand what we're doing. We are pushing our, we're creating winning positions, adding to them and defending with tight stops. Okay. Defending them suckers with tight stops. Um, that is a fantastic example on DraftKings, on, on DraftKings, on not buying the dip, but trading the reversal to two up on Friday. I have a reason to be in this, a reason to be in this. And I don't get stopped out. On the weekly, I got a hammer, actionable signal. This thing goes in force. Uh, one more time, bam, this thing goes in force at 28.63. Now I'm working this thing. Now I'm working this thing. And then here's my stop. I'm pushing my stops up, okay? Pushing my stops up. Pushing my stops up, you know? And you can take that stop. You can push them up to dailies. You can take that stop and put, how many times have they, have they dumped it on the 60s? You know what I mean? You can take that stop. Well, that's way, that's way too much. Anyway, you can take that stop and push it up to 60s. Okay. Push it up to 30s. I don't, I don't care. Push it up so you don't get stopped out 
and you don't, you don't, it's not a loser. Okay. It's easier to get back in on something after you got stopped out with profit. If this thing goes, okay, bam, I get stopped out and it keeps going. All right, cool. I know to find a reversal back into the green, back into the green. And then you can come on the weekend shift and talk about like you guys did Baba the other day. Oh, last, that was so much fun last week, last year with uh, Baba in the chat. Baba in the chat. That's a fun episode. I don't watch that one again. Um, so DraftKings, DraftKings, I'm going to put this on the weekly uh, watch list for next week. I don't even have anything in here yet. Robert is, hasn't even put out the weekly vid yet. I'm putting in DraftKings for uh, possible two to reversal on the week. I have a reason to be in this thing. All right. That is the stretch. This is the weekend chef. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, hold on. One more question. One more question. When you look at reversals to enter on, uh, do you do it based on a daily reversal, hourly, weekly, yearly magnitude in mind? I mean, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I'll give you a couple more seconds. Um, remember my charts look like this. Okay. Month, week, day, 60. Okay. If there is a reversal on the weekly, I am taking my, I am putting my buy, uh, order on the weekly. If it's on the month, I am waiting for it to go on the month. H O N H O N. Okay. I have my charts up like this and I put my buy right there. And then I put my stop right there. Uh, I am, you know, I think you guys, I think there's a misconception out there or there's a style of trading out there that people with the strat that people have kind of gravitated towards where they say, okay, there's a possible hammer on the month. I'm going to go down to the five minute charts and try to find a reversal. That's going to kickstart all that. You can do that, but that's sniper stuff. Okay. That's crazy. Like you have to be good at this stuff. There is, you know, you have to be really good at the strat before you try that stuff. And I think that's the misconception that people are getting on what we do. Okay. I am, there is a two, two reversal backup on the five minute on Honeywell. Yes, you would, you know what I mean? But for me to show you that is not realistic. Okay. For me to show you something on the five minute chart that went two, two reversal backup and never came back, that puts on a lot of pressure on new stratters, that puts a lot of pressure on new traders, period, that shouldn't be there. Okay. It's not, I'm going to say it's not real. Okay. Don't, don't do that kind of stuff. It's too hard. It's too hard. That's for experienced stratters. That's for experienced stratters. Okay. Again, I stay on the 30s and 60s. I stay on the 30s and 60s. Now, there is a there's a 2 2 reversal back up on the 60 right there and may, uh, on uh, on Honeywell. And that's that most likely triggered this, okay? That more than likely triggered that monthly. It did trigger that monthly. This this com we look for combinations, okay? We look for combinations. Um, I understand what you're saying. Uh, let's make this line red for my stop just so we uh, make sense, okay? What I am doing, though, is I am putting my – if the signal I want on, is on the monthly, I put my buy on the monthly. If it's on the weekly, I'm putting it on the weekly. Same thing with the daily, you know what I mean, and the 60, okay? I'm not dropping all the way down to the five-minute and looking for the magic thing, okay? Because you'll get stopped out, and then you'll be mad because this thing just took off again, Okay macro stuff. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm a tank. I'm looking for the big stuff. I want, I want the big moves. Uh, Cause I don't have a, I don't have a ton of capital. I'm looking for the big moves so that it can go. I can. And then once it's going, I could work, I can manage my open position. Okay. And then do what I can to get stopped out with profit. Know what I mean? Makes sense. Heck yeah, Nick. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, over time, oh, about you know, 10 minutes over time here. Sorry about that. I uh, just want to give you that. And then it started getting good, started getting fun. We got DraftKings on on for next week, looking for actionable signals. We'll be waiting for Rob's new, um, we'll be looking for Rob's new uh, weekend weekend vid. I'll be posting that. I'll be still posting stuff on Twitter out there. Um, there's a lot of people posting uh, about Strat stuff. That's good. That's good. Uh, if, if, you know, there's other teachers out here that uh, you kind of resonate with. But with here, with Sepia Group, with Rob, with Michael Dang, we, this is the strat. This is the pure strat. And we're going to show you nothing but the strat. And um, 
we're going to, I'm in the forums. I'm in Sepia group, uh, social, Sepia social. I am there. Ask your questions. Just like Rob C earlier said in the chat, I'm going to post it in the forums and we're going to talk about that thing until we both get tired. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and that's awesome. It's, it's a great community. Um, we do got some, uh, we got some yearly specials coming up for this year. You got Strat Soldier 2022. Heck yeah. Strat Soldier 2022. That gives you three months with Rob Smith and Michael Dang. That's $99 per month. That's a whole quarter with Rob Smith. That's 24, um, that's 24 uh, power hours with Rob. Okay. And then you got Michael Dang that starts. He, it's like a power hour every day with with Michael Dang, where he's going through the price action and he can tell you about what's going on for next week and or the, the next day and help you create a watch list for the next day. If you are if you are in there with Michael Dang and you're paying for Michael Dang, get in there with Michael Dang. Be on the show at four o'clock in the afternoon uh, and make him work. Do the work. He is fantastic. And for those people that are into technical analysis and you're just trying to understand what the strat does. Get in there with Michael Dang. Get in there with Michael Dang. Strat Soldier 2022. Okay. 2022. Three months of uh, both of those guys for $99 a month. It's going to, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. I'm in there. Um, and if you get that, um, even if you just get Michael Dang, you still get access to the forums. You still get access to all the, all the separate social and all that stuff. Again, I'm still in there helping you guys, okay? You're not alone. Also, yearly New Year 2022, that gives you Rob uh, one year and Michael Dang and the course for uh, $12.99. And then a Learn Strat 22 course and one month of Rob, one month of Michael Dang, $5.99. Okay, that's a pretty good deal too. That's a pretty good deal. Um, get in there with Rob, learn the Strat, get in there with Michael Dang, learn about market phases, Learn about all the aspects of the market uh, and then be in there with me, the Strat Soldier. I'm here for you. I don't leave you hanging. Uh, heck, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everybody who was here live in the chat. Thank you so much. Uh, very fun. I'm working with Separate Group to get you guys some uh, some goodies, some goodies, uh, some some extra things for always being here. Seriously, I, I want to do something for you guys. And so does Sepia Group. Uh, we have a we have a dedicated group of people that are always here, and I want to do something for you. Uh, I don't want to um, I don't want to speculate, but I'm working on I'm working with Sepia Group on getting you guys some uh, some free weeks. You know what I mean, or, or or some things, some free things. Okay. Um, uh, thank you, Jermaine. What time in social? Uh, I'm in I'm in the I'm in uh, Sepia Group with. Um, I'm in separate group with the forums and all that stuff 24 seven. I mean, I'm not in, you know I mean? I, I was just picking up your laptop and getting in there and typing stuff. So I'll get in there and I'll see some stuff. I'll, I'll start answering questions. Um, if you do, 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 thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys were here uh, for Twitter. I'm always on there. Um, I'm always on there as well. Uh, Twitter is more for fun and then showing people the strap and then also having fun too. Heck yeah. Thank you so much for being in there. You guys are awesome. And this is the weekend shift with the Strat Soldier. Thank you so much. I want to keep going, but uh, it is what it is. Heck yeah, we got we got things to do. Thank you so much for being here. It's been awesome. Um, man, I want to keep going. <laughs> I feel sad. <laughs> All right. See you later. The Strat Soldier with the weekend shift. Peace.